Hey guys, Dan Spencer with ProToolsTutorials.org, and today we're going to be talking about the infamous Auto-Tune, and I just want to go over how to use the controls on it, okay? So I don't really have any um, vocal tracks in here now, so I'm just going to insert it on the kick track for now, so that's obviously not a track you would ever use it on, but to uh, show you the controls, this will work fine for now. Okay, so uh, if you have it installed properly, it will show up under your pitch shift section. Okay, auto-tune right there. Now, I don't think this is the most current version, but I believe all the controls are the same on um, pretty much all of them. There might be a few you know, new features on the new one, but uh, this will suffice for now. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is go up to your input type, and um, we'll say that we are going to be correcting my pitch, okay? I'm clearly a low male voice. You can tell by me speaking, so let's choose that. Um, make sure you know your song's key. We'll just say ours is in the key of C minor. Okay, so let's go over to scale here and choose minor. So we got C minor. In the middle section here, it tells you the notes that are in that key. Okay, so if you have some like accidentals in there, um, per se, I would actually go over here and choose chromatic. I'm sorry, actually choose uh, just minor. See this one right here? It gives you the whole entire scale and do set minor. Okay, so um, basically, these notes that are um, grayed here are notes that have been removed. Okay, let's say we have an accidental in our song of, we'll just say an A. You can add it back right there. Okay, so you know it's a nice feature to have, so you can you know really get into choosing the notes that you you know that need to be in the song and don't need to be in the song. Okay, um, and these are the main controls down here you're going to be using. Okay, so if you want to get that really T-pain sound. Go to your retune speed and crank it all the way up to fast. That will give you like the T-Pain sound. All right. Um, if you want it to be pretty, I would say um, average. You don't want to really hear the auto tune too much. I like to do it around maybe uh, around 40, 41. I mean that that's a good that's a good starting place for it there. If you give a pretty good performance, that's just going to probably clean it up just a little bit. Um, if you give a bad performance and you're using auto tune, there's really no way around it. You're going to uh, hear the auto tune working. <laughs> Okay, so the next thing I like to do is go over to Humanize. I like to do this around like 30, okay? Because you don't want to sound like a robot, you know? This this button helps out a little bit, you know, as much as it possibly can, but I'd say 30 is pretty good, okay? And then you can actually minimize and maximize your natural vibrato. I like to just leave this how it is, because when you start adding artificial vibrato, um, it starts sounding um, pretty interesting, to say the least. Uh, this isn't the artificial vibrato right here. This is supposed to just kind of uh, imitate your natural vibrato, but I think it sounds a little bit artificial. And um, over here is the actual, you can create vibrato if you don't have any, which uh, I don't really recommend doing uh, unless you want to sound really fake. Okay. So, I mean, those are the basic controls. You can also go over to uh, the graphic mode. Okay, we're in auto mode right now. The graphic mode here. Um, you have to actually play back the song, okay? And it'll actually load in the notes, and then you can move them around. It's very similar to other pitch correction software. Like I like actually like to use Waves Tune. This is basically what Waves Tune looks like right here, okay? So let's go back to Auto here. So those are your basic controls of um, of uh, Auto Tune. I would say you know just like so. Let's, let's go over steps again. You know, choose your input type, choose your key, choose your retune speed and then adjust humanize. Those four things right there will get you using auto-tune, you know, fast and quickly. And then you can see, you know, if it uh, enhances your song the way you want it to or if it doesn't. Okay, so that is Antares Auto-Tune. This is Dan Spencer with ProTools Tutorials.org and we'll see you next time.